Welcome to the Ohio GOP video blog. Next Tuesday, December 11th, voters in Northwest Ohio will be heading to the polls to vote in the special election for the 5th Congressional District. Now, the Republican in that race is Bob Latta. Latta is a common sense conservative with 17 years of experience serving as Wood County Commissioner, State Senator, and currently as a state representative. You look at the difference between the candidates, uh, my opponent's pro-choice, anti-Second Amendment, high taxes, uh, you look at their stands on past stands on immigration, there's been some flip-flopping. You know, you look at my stand, I'm 100% uh, pro-life. I've uh, had it through in the General Assembly here. I have an A-plus rating from the NRA. I'm against uh, taxes. I've been the, sp uh, the sponsor of trying to get rid of the death tax here in the state of Ohio. My opponent favors it. So, you know, there's a lot of differences between the two. But again, it's in this type of election, people aren't paying attention, and you don't want to wake up on December the 12th and find out, gee, I should have done something to make sure that we kept this district Republican. You can watch more of our interview with Bob Latta by visiting our website, ohiogop.org. Latta traveled the district over the weekend, meeting with campaign volunteers, visiting small businesses, and thanking supporters. He also walked in the Tiffin Christmas Parade and appeared at the German Street Festival in Bucyrus. His opponent in the race is perpetual candidate Robin Wyrock, a union-backed Democrat. Wyrock campaigned over the weekend with Ted Strickland, and the governor apparently was a huge draw. I mean, look at the massive crowd here. I think I can count about 20 people. Strickland told the small group that Wyrock had the experience for the job because this was her third time running for office. Wow. She's run for office three times. I mean, surely she has the experience necessary to represent the good people of the 5th District of Ohio. I mean, come on, that's the best you can do? You brought the governor all the way up there for that? Well, if Wyrock isn't really qualified or has the experience necessary to do the job, well, who's supporting her anyway? According to finance reports, not too many people from Northwest Ohio. Congressional Quarterly reports most of Wyrock's contributions have come from political action committees, including those associated with labor unions and campaign committees linked to House Democrats, including Nancy Pelosi. Yes, Pelosi is giving her own money to try to get Wyrock elected. Now, with an approval rating in the low teens, do we really need to add more to Nancy Pelosi's Democrat ranks? So who else is supporting her? Well, Wyrock is endorsed by the group Emily's List. To be endorsed by Emily's List, you need to meet three qualifications. Number one, you need to be a woman. Number two, you must be a Democrat. And number three, you must support all abortion rights, including the right of a partial birth abortion. Now, a lot of people debate this issue, but there's one thing the majority of Americans agree on, and that is partial birth abortion is wrong. According to a recent survey, 75% of Americans believe partial birth abortion isn't just wrong, it should be illegal. Yet, Robin Wyrock willingly identifies herself with this extremist group. And oh, by the way, who are some other Democrats supported by Emily's List? Mary Jo Kilroy, who's running in the 15th District of Ohio, and none other than Hillary herself. So clearly, Robin Wyrock is out of step with the good people of Northwest Ohio. But we can't sit by idle and just expect a Republican victory. This election is happening at a very odd time of the year. The winner of this election is probably going to be based on turnout. And with the holidays approaching and probably bad weather approaching too, we can't take anything for granted. So please, we need your help. Visit our website, www.ohiogop.org, and sign up to volunteer. Or give us a call at 614-228-2481 to find out how you can help. We have a number of volunteer centers throughout the district where you can lend a hand. Let's work together to keep the 5th District of Ohio in Republican hands. And don't forget, if you live in the 5th District, you need to go out and vote on Tuesday, December 11th, and cast your ballot for Republican Bob Latta. Thanks for watching the Ohio GOP video blog. For more, visit our website, ohiogop.org.